Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to install a custom status bar in the Vim text editor. So if I open Vim right now, you see I don't have a status bar of anything at the bottom. I could set, if I do colon and then set last status equal to two, I can get that status bar, which is kind of like the default status bar on the bottom. And I could set that in my Vim RC and that would be okay. But in this video, I want to show you how to get a really cool status bar. Okay, so I'm just going to quit out of here and I'm going to open up a browser here. And the first thing we want to do is install Vim plug. So I'm going to search for Vim plug and I see this GitHub repository, June gun Vim dash plug. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and go down here to where it says installation uh, on Unix. And I'm going to copy that and then just paste that into the terminal there. Okay, so that's all good. And now I want to go and create a VimRC. So I'm going to do vim.vimrc. And I'm going to start with call plug hash begin and then two parentheses. And then I'm going to end the plugin section with call plug hash end two parentheses. And in between here, I'm going to bring in some plugins. So I would, to do that, I would type plug, and then I would do a single quote, and then the address to the GitHub repository, and then close out the single quote. Okay, so now I want to find my cool airline, my, my cool status line, which is Vim airline. Okay, so I'm going to search for Vim airline there. I gave it away. And if I go to this GitHub repository, Vim airline, all I have to do is copy the address here. Okay. And now I can paste this in, uh, do a single quote to close that, escape colon W to save, and then colon SO percent to source the file, and then colon plug install to install the plugin. Okay, and there we go, we've installed the plugin. I'm gonna close out that window. And now you notice this cool status bar on the bottom. And we can even put one on top as well. So to do that, if I scroll down on this repository here under installation if I keep going uh, I see this let G airline extensions tab line enabled equal one I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go outside the plug section below it and paste that in there and then I'm going to write and quit and we'll start back up Vim and now I've got a status bar not only on the bottom but also on the top here now that's pretty cool now if I want to get a status bar with different themes, I can install the airline themes plugin. So I can search for Vim airline themes and go to this GitHub repository, a collection of themes for Vim airline. I'm going to copy that. Okay. And let's just go here and type plug and then a single quote, paste that in, close out the single quote, uh, right the file, source the file, and then run plug install here. And there we go, it installs the Vim airline themes. I can close that out. And now I can start to look through the themes. Okay, so let's say I want to pick a particular theme. Well, there's a bunch here. Okay, so I can go through, there's a ton of base 16 themes. Uh, there's Cobalt 2. Yeah, let's just install Cobalt 2 just to show you how to do it. Okay, so if I go back to this regular page. To enable a theme, I'm going to type let g colon airline underscore theme and then equal in between quotes the name of the theme. Okay, so let's go down and do that. So under this line, I'm going to do let g colon airline underscore theme uh, equal and then in between quotes, quotes we'll do cobalt2 and we'll write this and then let's source it. Okay, and what we probably need to do is now restart it. So, oh, actually it took effect now, so you can see it's definitely different. Um, sometimes you need to restart to get the effect to happen, but look at that. If I do quit out and then restart, we see it actually it, it enables it on the top as well. So you can start to play around with the colors for your status bar as well which is pretty sweet and get it whatever custom setup you like. I hope this video was helpful for you and helped you show how you could set up Vim to look really modern and cool. If it was helpful for you, uh, please give it a like as it'll help the video out a lot. Thank you.